Like for data type, you can say where you can have heterogeneous elements of different data types. Like you can have sets, you can have dictionaries, you can have tuples, you can have elements of different types, you can have uh, integer rows. So basically, it is a data type which holds numerous data types of different type. Like and um, you can say it is a mutable type where the elements can be rearranged, it can be reassigned elements can be removed added and all okay so and it is written by a square bracket denoted by a square brackets and all okay so let's say that there are a list of numbers ten okay so ten numbers are there now If I say that I want to count that how many numbers are there, what the function is it is, that is len function, the len of the number. And then if I want to count that what is the type of this len, sorry, the num, then we are going to get it, that is the 10, the length of the numbers it is 10 and it is a class of a list. Now there are some of the functions in the list. Right. So you can go with the directory of the list. So we see it starting from the uh, append a p p e n d here. Okay, just a moment. It is like not in well shaped. Now it is clear, right? So from append, clear, copy, count, extend, index, insert, pop, remove, reverse, and so on. Okay, now let's say that we we'll start with the append. Now in the numbers list, if I want to add something, that is the working of the append. So you can go with the statements to write list.append. So append objects to the end of the list. So if I say number dot append 25 and if I print the number, so I'll find the 25 at the last of the list that is very clear, right? So if you want to add like this 25, 30, 45, something like a lot of numbers, numerous numbers, then, then you have to use the function called as extend. You'll find it like extend. So we can say uh, num dot extend and let's say if I'm writing there are a lot of numbers 35, 40, 65, 70 like this. Okay. Take it now here I can print num. Okay. And I can again see the lot of numbers whatever we have added in the last. Now so all these numbers now if you want to be inserted in a specific position like in the beginning or in the middle or anywhere else in the positions right so you have to write the positions now when it comes to the positions we need to talk about something called as indexing and slicing Okay, now indexing and slicing, how it works. Let's say there are the numbers. All these are the numbers now. Okay, now if I want to see the index of all the numbers, right? So in Python, indexing starts from zero. The very beginning number is the zero. Right, so indexing always starts from zero. So we say to find the first index, we'll can easily write the index of zero. Right, that is index of zero. So basically, the first element is one, so that is the index zero. The second element is two, index one. Okay, 
the third one is 3 index 2 so same we will apply a loop here for i in the numbers and will print down the i and then the i dot index of the num so we find a uh, integer has no oh sorry it's the wrong term. num dot index of i and then we go like the zero one is having the index zero two is having the index one three is having index two and see four three five four so it starts from zero and it will go at like whatever starting from there and it continues till then okay like that it goes so you understand like uh, things start from zero in python like if we talk about the indexing not the countings right because the length of the things will be different the length of the num would be different right see 15 is the length all the time okay so length is 15 and length will be always so you can say index number of the last will be always less than the length so the relation between the length and the indexing would be that the last index that element of any any element last index would be equal equals to the the length of the complete things right so index of basically if i say num of minus one is equal equals to this will be giving me for oh just a moment num minus one sorry like this oh Uh, minus one is having num in this moment num is equals to oh sorry that is 60 70 it is there right okay so what was there index okay okay that's just things okay actually the way was wrong before i was writing of this so you can find the index of the negative negative means the last right so if i say the num of zero is one num of one is two num of three two is three three four four five like that right so from the, the right hand side if we count we go with one two three four five six seven zero one two three eight. okay now if we want to see it right exactly if you want to see it from the uh, backward things right from the left hand side it was one two three four five six and it goes like in the counting from here zero one two three four five six seven like that right now if you want to count it from the right hand side or the back side you can say from here we'll count it as minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven like that okay so here are total 15 elements so it will go till minus 1 to minus 15 here so it minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and all those things okay from the left hand side you'll count it as 0 1 2 3 4 5 like that so someone is having doubt where is this parts so parts is it out clear now so can you just repeat it again which one that whole part this one yes sir yes sir okay just a moment see if i see my num i'm having numbers from one right so i can say that uh, in the index if i want to find so this is the first index that is zero then one two three four five like this okay so what i'm seeing in here right now if you want to find index of any uh, let it be a string let it be a tuple let it be a list and whatever it is okay if i want to find those things i will use index like that right and if i say zero sorry uh, dumb dot index of any element right five so it says the index is four similarly what here i'm using is 
num dot index of num of minus one. So what would be the num of minus one from here? The last element minus one means the last element. Minus two means the second last element. Minus three means the third last element, right? So minus one is the last element. Last element is seventy. So basically, num of minus one is seventy. So here, what is being given? Num of index of seventy. So it means num dot index of sorry. Of seventy, right? And then plus one. So always the last element, right? The index of the last element plus one will give you the length. Basically, that is basically the relationship between the length and the index. That is the things what I have. Here, okay, num of minus one plus one, and then giving you the fifteen, and that is exactly the length of the total number. See fifteen. Clear? Yes, sir. All right. So that is the first thing, right? Extend and append. Now, uh, coming up to the things. Uh, let's see all the functions. Clear, copy, index, insert, pop, remove, reverse, and sort. Let's copy that. So let's say if you want to clear up the numbers from this uh, num, right? So we'll just say num dot clear. So it will become a complete uh, blank list. Right, see, it is having nothing. No elements is being given right there. Now we want an element which could have even the alphabets and all, right? So let's say, um, for i in range of a to z. If it prints, no, we'll be having it giving the results. Uh, okay, fine. So let's say f is equals to o p q r s t u v w x y and z. So it is f equals to these much. Numbers, right? How using spaces? Now let's say if uh, we use split, you'll be getting the things in the list. See, so a and all has been given in the. Now in here in the split we haven't used anything any parameters right so by default things are using the spaces so I have used spaces between the strings see so I can use the split method directly there so to getting the results as such okay all right what if Results of there as A to B. Mm. Okay, fine. So let's see the indexing here. So index of like F dot index of zero. What it be? If I say A, obviously it is zero, right? So things would be written like this, right? From here, if I want some slicing, now slicing would be selecting some part of the elements from your complete list or tuple of whatever the data type is, right? Selecting a some part of there. Like if I want the numbers or uh, elements from E to L, let's say, okay. So I have to find that what is the index number of E and what is the index number of L and then I can slice it. So what is the index number of E? It is 4. And what is the index number of L? It is 11. That's okay, right? So what I can say that I want the numbers from the range of 4 to 12 because range always works the less minus 1. So if I say 12, then it will go till 11, obviously, right? So I want the numbers, uh, basically, I want all the numbers from the 4 to 12, right? So here it is written that I want the numbers of f from 4 to 12. So you have to use this from 4 to 12. So you'll find the numbers from e to l. Clear to everyone? If I say that I want the numbers from... Uh, I want the alphabet still J, right? 
so till j from the starting till j so i can use that f of 0 till j comes at 10 right so 11 so from uh sorry 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 we have using index right so 0 to this right so you can use 0 to 10 so a to z otherwise you can go with this to 10 that's it so if you don't write anything in the starting that means completely from the start right if you don't write anything it means that things are to be taken from the starting now if if you don't write here in the last terms from j to everything so from j to z you will be getting the things right from the k basically so here let's say 15 from 15 to start so from 15 to there and it will be like this uh, let's say from 16 we'll be having in the same heights widths yeah that's fine so from q r s t and all right so these are the things okay now this can also go like if i want to see till a to z in the even numbers so how will i say f from 0 to last okay from 0 to last in the intervals that is from this one the start the start has taken to be the beginning one that is zero and the stop has given as the last one right so start to stop is totally blank that is from zero to last in the intervals of two right so a c e g i k m o n and like it will be going right like that okay so what if i say a from here to here in the intervals of four obviously will things will be changed so one more gap will become a e i and there right Again, if I go with this into intervals of 6, again things would be like different, right? If I say 8, it would be like this. And this time I say 16, it would be A and Q, okay? And if I say now 32, only A will come, right? Clear to everyone how slicing work in intervals with the gappings, I mean to say, right? These are the slicings. Okay, moving ahead. Now, uh, let's look on to the different functions where it is. Um, copy, count, uh, index has been done, insert, pop, remove. So, so, okay. so indexing has been clear, right? So, like that, if in the number or if in the alphabet, in the F, if I meant to copy this total things, right? If I uh, want to copy an alphabet list over from here. So I'll say like my alphabet is ALP and I will copy only F of the first 10 copy. So if I look on to the ALP, I'll find A to Z, right? Because I have taken only the first 10 and dot copy function. So it makes a copy of all this 10, first 10 what I have taken, right? And as a given those values assigned to the ALP and so does ALP is having all these now so if I were to count on that how many D are there so I'll just say ALP dot count D that's it one okay and similar to this if I want to see that uh, where does like it is having to remove some elements if I want to remove some elements from here I can use ALP dot remove I can remove D, E, anything, like let's say E. So ALP now looks like this and no E is there. Otherwise you can use the pop function which can directly remove the things. Right, so last element has been removed, right? So it automatically uh, removes the last element, whatever uh, is being given, okay?
Yeah. And like if an analyst, let's say D is equals to a list of numbers, let's say 67, 1, 2, 30, 23, 906, 32, 15, 176, 80, 65, like this. If the numbers are in these orders and you want to sort this, so you can just use D dot sort and the last line you print the D. You'll find a sorted list over there, right? And you want to reverse this, you can just write D dot reverse. And look onto the D, you'll be getting a reverse of all the things. Right? So these are the things. Easy. Okay. So these are what given in the list. Now you can change these things in the list. Like if you want to deep list something like let's say D of 5. What is the D of 5th position? 5th position is 32. Right? So before reversing I am talking about. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. The D of the 5th is 32. Clear? If you see the D, see the D first. So 5th is the 32. Okay. Right? What I have written here. See? Don't go with this reverse and sort, okay? See these, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. D of 5 is 32. So, here if I say D of 5 is equal equals to replaced. So now you see my D. I'll find the fifth element. Uh, just a moment, where it is. equals to the middle. So I'll find the fifth element has to be replaced. Okay. So in here you can do the things here like if you could compare the things and you can find the things here. If you say that in the D you want to see whether the D is greater than 5 or not. So here you will not find things. The pandas will learn all this. Okay. Now coming to the next data type is we have tuples. Here also the definition is quite similar, but the only difference is these are not mutable. And this question will come in your IBM examinations. Okay, uh, this is not. You can say these are not mutable, but the lists are mutable. Okay. Now that means like uh, in the tuples, like the list, you cannot replace or like you cannot add or uh, like remove the elements. Uh, how you do in the list right so those cannot be done those things cannot be done here right okay so uh, what all the functions are there in the tuples so if you don't want to remove any elements you uh, write it inside the tuples so you'll find all those things right like index and count only two of the options so if i say alp is equals to a tuple or if i say alph okay dot copy and i say now that alph is going to be al a tuple alph now if i print on the alph we will find oh where it is alph it's not defined So we'll find the A B C D E F G H I till I think. Okay, that is the copy of the list and is converted to the tuples. Now you see tuples have the rounded brackets and you can check on the type of A L P H and it is given as a tuple. Oops, I have shut in there. Hmm. 
tuple is there. Yeah. So here you can do index and like you can see tuple of the five. Mm. S G. But you cannot add, you cannot remove, you cannot do anything. So actually, you can add only a single tuple. So if you want to make a single element tuple, you can make a tuple over there and uh, like brackets. Then you can give a comma, otherwise it will not be added. So can only concatenate str not tuples to string. Okay, here we have. Yes. Five classes of thought can only go to Captain Test here. Hmm, that's okay. Just a moment. Hmm, that has been done. having any problem I think all right so see it's a tuple over there and I can add elements like this okay so only this is the only possibility where you can add elements in such manner right otherwise you cannot add and you can count it like this we are using okay so you can get the elements like this no removals have been there, right? Let's discuss to the sets. So here, uh, the duplications are not allowed. Like the elements you once defined has been defined. You cannot repeat the elements inside there, right? So uh, like in similar, here you have repeated four for two times, three times, five for four times, right? And three for two times. They cannot repeat anything. Like in the list and the uh, tuples, there's one such things that you can repeat the elements. That is okay, right? In the sets, you cannot repeat it. Okay, so let's go through that. In the sets, let's say there is an A. Till 1, 2, 5. And there is set B. So, and now if you want to add 5 to set B, let's say. So there is a measure, uh, the uh, function, so what I can say is directory in the directory uh, it is in the set so and if I say it as hmm. so it is add from the add okay so if I say b dot add of an element five B will not get any reflections of that, right? Because five is already present in the B. Okay. And the sets, the elements are always in ascending orders. Okay. So let's see how it works. Here is something called as intersection. Intersection is like the common elements we talk about. So we say A intersection B. Get the results 3 4 5 are the common elements in the set a and b see 3 4 5 here also 3 4 5 here also same elements so a uh, similar like what are the different elements then in this a and b difference of b they find to be 1 and 2 okay now, uh, what all are the elements if we combine union, we say it as A union B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
right all the elements combining things okay now what are the different elements in the set a and in the set b the total different element in the set a and also in the set b right sir exactly. I, i i have a little doubt hmm ask nice. sir in that difference between a and b hmm. sir there, there is also 6 and 7 right in the b set yeah 6 and 7 uh in the output we didn't get 6 and 7 we get only 1 and 2 yeah that is why because we are using a minus b so it means the different numbers in set a as compared to set b if i write b minus a then there we get 6 and 7 2 okay sir okay b dot difference of a will be giving you 6 and 7 but if you want a complete different elements for that we'll be using symmetric difference so here you get all the elements 1 2 6 and 7 yes sir thank you sir. okay uh same you can use the symmetric difference update the uh, superset subset and all that see superset and subset so if i make d which is equals to 1 2 and 3 so i can say that d is a subset of a that is a true statement similarly a will be the superset correct and you can go with the definitions if you want to see the definitions for all Okay, definitions are given. You can copy. You can do a lot of things, right? Uh, remove, pop, uh, removal methods are there. That is, remove, or you can use the pop. Pop is removing any element from there, right? Or you can use discard. Now there are two different things. See, in the set A, if I say set A dot remove six, so I get a key error because six is not there in the A. But if I use this card of six, I don't get any errors, and there is no reflections in the set A even, right? Because six is not present. So in the discard, what function it helps like if there is the uh, element, it will be removed, right? But if it is not there, there is no such errors to be given out for you, right? So no errors will be given to you even if the uh, elements are not present there but if the elements are present it will be it will be removed okay but in the case of the remove you'll get a key error right so if you see the definitions you'll be getting the answers over there why it is not working there okay set dot discard and if the element is not a member do nothing that's it very simple and you can see it is in the str dot the remove options so in the remove You'll find uh, just a moment. Str no sorry, it is in set. So if it is there, then it removes an element from a set which should be a member of that element or set. And if the element is not a member, it raises a key error, right? So those are the things. Now, update is okay update is something where you can work exactly as append like d dot update a list of numbers so like this okay so these are things in the update and then we'll go to the dictionary so in the dictionary the things are in the key and the values 
right same things are there here you have key and then you have a value like that again key two and then a value two is there in the dictionary okay now let's say it is h so you can say h dot keys these are the keys if you want the values h dot the values okay if you want the keys and values to be uh, seen at once you can use the items so you can use the loops here key and key two same we can go with the values okay like this okay now so a dictionary can we make let's say if we see on to the cases we make a dictionary like let's say Maharashtra like this okay so uh, these are the dictionary right having keys and values if I look onto the cases of keys a sample I have made just okay so we have all these Maharashtra such as Garan Andhra Pradesh right so if I want to see that what is the cases in the Chhattisgarh If I say it's 25k, you can also see it using the cases start get the values of Chhattisgarh. Oh, sorry, like this, okay, the 25k. All right, like this. The keys have a lot of functions, dictionaries have a lot of functions to work through. You can go with every of them. That is it's dict, right? So values, update, items, keys, pop item from keys. Okay. So these are the things which plays very important roles in the Python basics and all. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow, uh, you guys will be having a small kind of a test. You can say for not the IBM test. Okay. A small kind of a test for the Python basics and then we will be continuing with the data science parts okay okay